Hi, I'm Dan Gross, here with Ryan Philippi, who's one of the stars of MacGruber, which opens this Friday. He's untouchable. Oh, I'll touch him, Ricky. I'll touch him wherever I want. How you doing, Ryan? I'm doing real well, man. And it's nice to be home, nice to be back in the area. Absolutely. You're from Delaware, right? Yeah, I was born in Newcastle, and uh, yeah, and a lot of time, all my, you know, my teenage years, like, Philly is where I came to hang out, and all my teams are Philly teams, so I kind of feel like a Philly boy, yeah. You know, you're throwing out the first pitch tonight at the Phillies. I am, man, and I'm so, these are the two things. I don't want to get booed. I don't want to end up on ESPN because if I ended up on ESPN, that means I didn't. I, I had a, it was a wild pitch. You know, I'm hoping it just kind of goes over the plate. And um, yeah, I'm excited though that the that the next person to take the mound after me is the best pitcher in baseball. That's so true. That's pretty Ray cool. Halliday. Yeah. Uh, have you been practicing at all for the pitch? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I, have, I shouldn't say I've practiced a lot in case it's a bad pitch, but I, I I have a little bit. My trainer and I went out last week to a diamond and I threw a few and. Well, I know you're a big Howard Stern fan, so obviously yeah, yeah. you're familiar with uh, the Bob Baba Booey pitch. <laughs> yeah, horrific. Uh, it's I can guarantee you, it's not going to be that bad. You, you're yeah. you're you're promising to to beat him. Yes, get closer to the, to the plate. Yeah, if not over the plate. Yeah. Listen, I wanted to ask you about uh, about MacGruber. Um, a lot of people. I mean, I'm one of them. When I first heard it was a movie, I sort of thought it was a joke because yeah. I didn't. You know, you only see the 20 seconds, it's and it's the same thing. Yeah. The character yeah. presumably explodes. Yeah. Um, what did you think? I, I mean, probably when you read the script, you realized it was an actual movie. But when they first told you, you know, hey, we want you to read MacGruber, what were you thinking? Well, you know, first of all, the always supportive internet predicted it was the end of my career being in MacGruber. Um, but uh, the thing of it is, man, it's actually, it actually has nothing to do uh, with the sketch. Our movie is to 80s action films what Austin Powers was to the spy genre. So we're really kind of lampooning Rambo and Die Hard and Lethal Weapon. and um, So you'll see elements of all those movies in it. And there's some hilarious 80s jokes. The other thing is it's a hardcore R. Like it's, we almost, that, that it's almost pretty, got an NC-17. Where'd you be? I just took an upper decker in the master bathroom. Upper decker? Yes, yeah, where you take a number two in the water tank and not in the bowl. You look great. Do you think it's going to be well received by, by not only SNL fans but by the, the general public? Too? Yeah, because I think, like I said, it, it really has, it doesn't matter whether or not you have seen or are familiar with the sketch, just like Austin Powers sort of came right. out of nowhere as a character. I think it could have that response and uh, like I know there are moments that kids will be tweeting about as they sit in the theater because there's some stuff that you just, you can't believe you're seeing. And um, I think word of mouth for it will be really strong. How long will you uh, make your own children? Wait before they're at, the at least a decade, man. They're they're ten and six. Not this appropriate is, for them. This is not a kids' movie. I wouldn't let any kid under sixteen go see this movie. No. no. Okay. But um, adults will love it. So I'm sure they will. I uh, I appreciate your time. I just yeah, had, had one more question to ask you. We were actually debating it on the way here. Do you have any idea how many girls have been deflowered to the? Uh, Counting Crows song from Cruel Intentions. <laughs> Do I have any scene? idea? Um, I, I hope it's millions. It, 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 it I hope be. I circuitously took the virginity of millions. That's what I, I would love for that to be the case. It's the dream of any actor. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Listen, Ryan, thank you thank very you much. Me. Really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Definitely.